He's waking up. Doctor! He's waking up! Hello, Kit. It's Wednesday morning around 10.30 a.m. Ugh. No, no, that's okay. Don't try to get up just yet. You've been unconscious for a couple days. What... what happened? There... there was a fire... in the workshop. We found you outside. You managed to escape without getting too many burns, but you did inhale a lot of smoke. You remember what happened? I... I... I don't remember. I... remember... Princess. Princess? Princess saved me. Princess. Is he gonna be alright, Doctor? He's gonna be fine. He just needs rest. I have no doubt that he will make a good recovery very soon. Okay, that's good news. Thank you so much for all your hard work, Doctor. It's just what I do. And you! Don't forget to like and subscribe to Seasons and Seasons 2. Meow, we need to find out what happened. Who did this to our son? I agree. I can never get over what happened to Princess. But I can accept it was just an accident. But another fire? Another one of our children hurt? I won't stand by anymore. It's time to go to work. Oh boy, another building we own, up in flames. At least Kit was all right. Yeah, you're right. How did the fire even start? It looks like everything went up. I'm surprised Kit managed to make it out alive. Man, how are we going to figure this one out, Lynx? I'm not sure. Looks like we're going to have to figure out what happened here the old-fashioned way. The security cameras look toasted, but maybe I can see what they were recording before they broke down. Could take a while, though. Okay, you look into that. I'm gonna talk to the neighbors and see who might know something. Alright. Let's meet back at the house. Yes, sir. Afternoon. My name is Agent Lynx. I'm investigating a crime that happened nearby a couple nights ago. Would you mind if I asked a few questions? Of course, ma'am. Come on in. Thank you for letting me in to talk, sir. This won't take long. You said this was about a crime? What happened exactly? Were you aware of the fire that occurred nearby two nights ago? I am. You can see the flames up over the hill. Were you anywhere near the fire? Uh, I wasn't actually. I see. And did you happen to see any strange individuals around the area that night? Hmm, let me think. Uh, I saw a few strange folks. Well, early in the afternoon there was this kid that lives there. Noisy kid. The one with the engine for legs. Mm-hmm. Who else? Well... I'm not sure exactly. That kid was in the workshop all afternoon and night. I could hear him banging and welding and sawing. But then I was a little confused when I saw him outside again, walking towards the house. Why were you confused? Because. That kid with the funny legs was in the garage all night, making noise as usual. But then I saw him again, and the noise didn't stop. Soon after, the fire started. That's interesting. Can you describe who you saw the second time? Well, it was dark, but he looked the same, same funny legs. Other than that, I can't really say. Maybe he was covered in oil? As if he had dark fur? Yeah, exactly. Okay, thank you for your time, sir. I really hope that what I'm thinking isn't true. Come on, come on, stupid TV! Connect! Ugh. How hard is it to read burnt security camera footage? Hey, Meow. You find anything? Not yet. 
Still trying to get the TV to read the stupid camera footage. What did you find? One of the neighbors says he saw someone who looked like Kit, but darker, around the time before the fire. Oh no. You don't think... Meow. That's... Oh no! Which must mean he did it to Princess too. Yeah. It's Scruffy. He did this to Kit. Ugh. I'm so bored. I need someone to torment. But I gotta keep my head low after the other night. I don't want to draw any attention to myself. Mom? Dad? What's going on? Scruffy? Yeah, Dad? We know what you did! We know you burnt down the workshop! We know that you burnt down the house with Princess still inside! Uh... No, I didn't. Scruffy, we saw the security tapes. You set the workshop on fire while Kit was still inside. Why would you do that? Uh... I don't know what you're talking about! I was framed! It was somebody else! Oh, jeez! It was you, Scruffy! We know it was! There's no use denying it. We have proof. Oh no. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna go to jail? We've talked. And we've decided you are to leave. We won't get the police involved if you just go. But I can't just leave. I'm just a baby. If you're old enough to want to burn down buildings, you're old enough to look after yourself. That's our final offer. Leave, or we go to the police. Don't make this any harder. All right. I... I guess I'll go pack my things. You're looking a lot better, Kit. I think we'll be ready to let you go home by tomorrow. That's great. I feel a lot better. Uh, hi, Doc. You mind if I talk to my brother for a minute? Of course. Scruffy, what are you doing here? I came by to say goodbye. You're leaving? Yeah, I'm taking off for a while. It uh, seems like Mom and Dad found out what happened. The house, Princess, you. So I came by to say sayonara. You, you're really just gonna leave after everything? Yep. But I couldn't leave without visiting my big brother and telling him I will never stop hunting you until you are gone. And Mom and Dad take me back into the family once again. I will always be watching you, Kit. No matter where you go or where you hide, I will find you. Well, anyways, better get going. See you later, Furball. Scruffy. Don't do it. B princess Princess? Is it really you? Yeah, kinda. I'm an angel, or whatever. Listen, you need to stop this. You need to forgive yourself for what you did. I don't need to do that. I need revenge. Scruffy, I forgive you. It's alright. You need to stop all of this for good. Don't let anger and hate fill your heart. Do it for me. What am I supposed to do? Princess? Where did you go? Princess? Guys, if you enjoyed that awesome video, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to update your creator code to these seasons. 
And don't miss our next video, which will be out tomorrow on our other channel, Seasons.